Uh, I'm a journalist, I'm a writer, I'm uh, an author. I write uh, books about uh, um, computer science uh, uh, and the technology for everyone, uh, the internet uh, and uh, uh, games uh, for <laughs> uh, people. Uh, um, I qualify myself as a sort of uh, uh, communication uh, worker. Uh -huh. uh, you gave us a, a really nice introduction to your talk today uh, with your avatar from Warcraft, uh, from World of Warcraft. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, ways that you can see games or, or the idea of games being used in education? Uh, well, there is a, an, a whole uh, sector um, of technology and uh, education uh, called uh, gamification. That means uh, introducing uh, game uh, techniques uh, in uh, learning. Uh, and that's it. Uh, as uh, I um, showed in my, in in my speech, uh, um, games uh, contain uh, many, many structures uh, of uh, um, learning, dynamics of learning that uh, we can uh, uh, use in uh, real life and in uh, real learning. G uh, many games uh, and the uh, role-playing games uh, especially are a learning machine in themselves. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I really liked about your presentation was, uh, was the way that you just encouraged the teachers here at the Ericsson conference to try to, to give, you know, not to be worried about technology, uh, not to, you know, not to, to get worked up and stressed, but just to learn. Uh, can you explain to us uh, some of the, you know, some of the the things that you said to the teachers today to try and uh, inspire even more people? Well, I, basically I said that uh, technology isn't uh, uh, intrinsically difficult. Uh, technology is uh, hard uh, only when you uh, don't uh, give uh, the right time to it. Um, technology can be learned uh, by giving it uh, enough time. And uh, time uh, is uh, uh, everything. You don't need to be uh, especially smart. Uh, you just have to be a normal person, normal people, and uh, give enough time to technology and uh, you will learn. So a teacher's worried, they want hmm. to try it. What advice would you give them? Uh, it's, quite, uh, it's quite hard to give uh, good advice uh, about uh, the um, uh, local realities, uh, local laws, uh, and uh, um, this very moment. I prefer to give a more long-term answer. I gave a speech the day before, yesterday, about the um, second uh, industrial revolution. And there was a first industrial revolution that uh, changed uh, not only uh, lives uh, of uh, people of that time. The first uh, industrial revolution impacted, uh, heavily impacted uh, on uh, the following generation, uh, the, the world, the society in, uh, in its uh, entirety. Um, what happened during the first industrial revolution? There were uh, the um, Luddites, uh, followers of uh, John Ladd. Uh, they destroyed uh, the, um, uh, the machines. They protested uh, the advent of technology. They were, they were against the change. Um, after uh, a couple of uh, centuries, we know that the um, Luddites' point of view was uh, uh, perfect, perfectly understandable, uh, but uh, they were wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the future is uh, technological and we must uh, uh, learn how to cope with it, because uh, just uh, opposing it uh, is uh, uh, futile. Uh, there, there's no... Uh, there's no point uh, in uh, opposing technology. Let's embrace it uh, in the right way and with the, uh, the right uh, uh, protections and uh, the, the right uh, attention. But uh, don't resist change because change uh, is going to uh, walk over you. <laughs>
<laughs> Brilliant. Lucio, thank you very much. Uh, it was a real pleasure to, to listen to you today and a real pleasure to speak to you now. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh,